up everyone welcome to the tutorial how to convert your spc files into a media file and as a bonus i'm going to show you also how to take samples from a custom songs of spc files aka snes music for super mario world for example so let's just open foobar and select one of the songs this time will be chemical plant zone from sonic the hedgehog 2 as you can see it's sampled it has custom samples, so that's really good for us. Can I look at the details? Can we call something to FPC? Okay, this is the uh, song name. Um, this is that one we sampled. Uh, also, Winamp can play SPC files, but you have to you have to have an extension for that, and you can see. It plays properly, but the difference between Fubar and Winamp is that Fubar loops and basically plays the song as it's supposed to play. <coughs> but anyway, so yeah, we need a couple of programs for everything. <laughs> so we need a program to open MIDI files, like Alta CD, for example. We need a program to edit MIDI files, for example, Apple Studio. And we need open MPT for Reaping, reaping. Uh, I mean copying the samples from the song to to files and a program to open SPC files itself. Other programs that I'll use will be in the description, so check this one uh, at the bottom. Um, so yeah, we have this song, Chemical Plant Sonic 2. Let's just go to SPC to MIDI program and yeah, I'll open this program. It's so small, yeah, as you can see. So yeah, let's go to SPC and select our file that we want to convert. In this time, in this case, will be that one. It can sound wacky, cause yeah, this is how interpretation works <laughs> in this program. But it works. So for example, I can ch I can change some some samples. But yeah, um, as we played around a bit with this, we can actually convert that. So file, save MIDI, it won't be in SPC, we need a specific folder for that. Convert it, and no, it will be SPC to MIDI, where we have some songs. Save, and then duration will be really long because uh, we will crop that later, and we have to crop that later too have MIDI properly working, so yeah, I'll just save it here. It took a while, so it took a while, so um, let's just go to our folder. And this is that one, this is the MIDI file. In a Windows Media Player, it will, I guess, play properly. It has seven minutes. But if I want to open this in Apple Studio, um, let's go to SPC, SPC to MIDI, and then we open that. Accept. I don't want to. It is something like this. And you can ask, why? What happened? I just converted that into MIDI in Windows Media Player. It works. But in Apple Studio, it doesn't. So now there is a thing. Let me just delete that one. Let's open out the CD for that. And just import a MIDI here. Okay, as you can see, here's the loop pattern. It's, it, it repeats. Um, so let me just cut. Um, like first uh, two minutes. And yeah, this will be our pattern that we will use later. And as we have this... Oh wait, I have to do reverse. Uh, I need to crop the part that I don't want to. So let me just crop that and delete. Okay, and now export MIDI. And now here is our SPC to MIDI. 
and then uh, and can't land zone Sonic 2. Edit. Okay, it's exported right now, and now, as we have this converted in a proper folder this time, um, now we can import that to FL Studio. So open FL Studio, export, uh, import MIDI file, no, and SPC to MIDI and Chemical Plant Zone Sonic to edit. Accept. I don't want to, and just wait. And now your MIDI file is properly imported to your FL Studio project. As you can see, there's a lot of things here. Mm. And it works. And you have also channels that this MIDI uses. And you can see the check mark of which channel is actually used. It's not, you have 16 channels, like most of the time. Um, from previous projects that I did. So, for example, 10, and this is something like this. Channel 3. It's a piano. And okay, this is the first part, how to in export SPC to MIDI. Now let's just move to how to take samples from it. Because, okay, you might want to use samples from SPC files. Well, we need a couple of programs for that, or at least a couple of steps to make it. So, firstly we need SPC to it. I need to copy the SPC file to the folder to make it easier. It, and then just paste. This program doesn't work like a, as an executable itself. Because, yeah, it's nothing here. But you just have to drag this file and open with SPC to it. And it's imported already. This is the tracker audio file, so basically you can open it in literally Milky Tracker or any tracker to open Amiga files. And it works. So, yeah, this is our tracker file right now. Our SPC is a tracker Amiga file. And what to do with it now? Open MPT tracker and just uh, open this file with tracker. As you can see everything is here. Uh, Intel. Okay, and now we need samples. We have samples, they are actually let me look again on the Mickey Tracker file because we need numbers. It has 16 patterns. Each pattern has its own sample, so we need to figure out which one is which. So uh, we need to look on this. Okay, second. Is nothing here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not. It's not what I wanted to. But okay, let's. Okay, it's something... it's 21st, wow. Okay, this is the 21st, 22nd. Twenty-third. Let's check 24th. It's a kick. 25th. Twenty-six. Clap. Twenty-seventh. Twenty-eight. Is the main tube, I, I assume, because, yeah. Twenty-ninth is... It's... Over. 
ring. Okay, so as you got the sample, for example, let's take this one. And you click here. Oh, you can also save all. Oh, no, it's in the flag. Um, I just click save. It will be in the flag. Let's go to converted. No, SNES samples. Uh, Sonic 2 Chemical Sonic. And just save as a flag and just do with every other pattern. We uh, need to change the names because, it, yeah, this program just saves the name of the program save 25th okay and we have this done and now what about getting into Apple studio and import the samples so you just open the sample that you just already converted as SNES samples and this is the those are the files and they mostly don't have loop patterns so I'll just take this one and just make a loop because Oh, that, that's really loud. And let's just add sampler. Here it is. Open it. We need that one. Then go to edit. We have Edison. So we select the loop that we want to. I think it will be really loud. So I'll just lower the volume here. Yeah. Tools, tune loop. Okay, that was really annoying and loud but yeah i'll mute that part for you because you don't have to suffer then this is something like this and okay select the sampler here click tools send to select a channel and it's here as a loop use loop points okay and now we can replace one of the channels here And for example, it will be this channel one. So let's just X, untitled loop, and it sounds terrible, but you can play around with that. You know how to do it. It just it just depends on you how you will use it. So yeah. This is entire tutorial how to take samples from song, how to convert to MIDI, how to edit that to work, and other stuff like this. So I hope you can make a usage of that. See you in, in, on the next tutorial.